Hello and welcome to my channel, Reveal and Review, where today I have something a little bit different. Uh, these are Brock's Late Night Taco Truck Jelly Beans. Here's a look at the bag. Let's get a thumbnail out of the way and I'll explain everything to you. I don't know how well this is going to show up on camera with the dark bag and the dark writing, but we'll give it a shot. Alright, enough of that. All right, now, these uh, are jelly beans that taste like the ingredients of a taco. And they're Brock's, so they should be pretty good quality. Uh, so I, I didn't see these in the store. I ordered them on uh, Walmart.com. Uh, so you can get them. They were kind of expensive. It was like $10 for this bag, so I uh, probably won't be getting them again because I'm not that huge of a jelly bean fan, but these sounded kind of interesting, so I thought I'd get, get them and uh, give them a try and share my thoughts with you guys. So it looks like it's got the different jelly beans listed on the package here. There is a green one that tastes like a margarita. That should be interesting. And a like a red one that tastes like a churro. And then there's another red one that tastes like a salsa. It's a little bit different shade of red. And then there's a green one that tastes like guacamole. And a brown one that tastes like a beef, to a beef taco. And a white one that tastes like a horchata, which I believe, if I'm not mistaken, is that uh, Mexican drink that tastes kind of like co coconut water. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments on that, but I think that's what it is, so it should probably taste like coconut. So let's turn it over see what it says here on the back of the bag. It says uh, about 12 servings in this bag. Serving size is 21 pieces, so that's pretty good. Pretty, pretty big serving there. Uh, calories 110. And uh, not really much else to speak of in the uh, things that are bad for you. Sodium is 10 milligrams for a serving. So that's not too bad. So let's just cut into them here. I'll try to sort out the colors, and uh, we shall see. Let me cut this in the bag so I can still read the colors and what they are. I don't play that ripping the bag open and making a mess thing. This way the bag will stay nice. So I can... Doesn't, uh, when you go to grab it, it, everything doesn't come out on the counter. Okay, so there is a light green one that's supposed to taste like margarita. There's what it looks like in the, uh, here's what it looks like. And this one looks like it is a speckled green one that's supposed to taste like guacamole. Here's what that one looks like. Okay, then we got a white one that's supposed to be like the horchata. That's what that one looks like. Okay, then we got... A yellow one. I don't see a yellow one listed on here. There's not any. No, I don't know what that one's going to taste like, but it's different than different color than the others, so we'll go with it. And this one looks like the beef taco. That one looks like the beef taco. And here's this. Here's this yellow one. I don't see that listed anywhere on the bag. I don't know. I don't know what that's going to taste like. We'll find out though. There's a red one. All right, there's a red one. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six flavors. And I've got three, four, five, six, seven jelly beans. So I don't know what that yellow one's going to taste like. We'll find out. So it looks like this one. The, the plain green one is a margarita. Hmm. I tasted a little bit like a margarita. The thing is, they're not really big enough that you can really, there, there's that much taste to them in just one of them, eating them singly like that. So that did taste a little bit like a margarita. This one, the speckled green one, looks like guacamole. Let's give this one a try. 
No. Oh. Yeah, that's rough. No. Oh. No, oh, that one's horrible. That one didn't. Uh, maybe it tasted like guacamole if the guacamole was old and nasty, but I can see that's what it was going for. But that guacamole one was gross. That was gross. All right, so this one's supposed to taste like the horchata. So let's give this one a try. This one might be a little bit better. Hmm. Mm -hmm. That one did taste like the horchata stuff. It did have a taste like a milky coconut type of thing, so that was that was good. And this one looks like it's supposed to be a churro. Let's give this one a try. Mm-hmm. I'm getting stuck in my teeth. So yeah, that one did have kind of a cinnamony kind of a taste to it, like a churro. All I've ever had is a cinnamon churro, so I don't know. I don't know what any other churro tastes like. I've not had a lot of them, so. And this one looks like it is supposed to be the beef taco. Didn't get a lot of beef taco in that. I just got a bunch of sweet. I mean, I could see maybe where there was a slight beef taste to it, but it was overridden by the sh by all the sweetness, by all the sugar in it. And this one is supposed to be like salsa. So I love salsa. So let's give this one a try. Oh, yeah. Oh. Boy, yeah, that was salsa, all right. Oh, oh, that was that was a little bit much. It did taste like salsa, but it had like sugar in the like a lot of salsa with a lot of sugar in it. So that would it was it did taste like salsa, but I didn't like it that much. Yeah, it still even has an aftertaste of salsa, and I don't know what this what this color one's supposed to taste like. So let's, this is one that I don't know. Let's see. That one kind of tasted like a taco. Maybe that was, maybe that was, the first one I had maybe was, was, didn't have that much flavoring in it or something because it, I think was supposed to taste like a beef taco, but it didn't taste that much like one. And that second one tasted a lot like a beef taco. It really did. So let's uh, take a couple of handfuls of, of them and eat them by the handful and hope that I don't get too many of the red ones in there. There's a red one. I'll try it, a handful of them, just, just to, you know, to see what the, how the flavors mix. And there is a salsa in there. And there's a horchata and the margarita. Let's, let's mix them all and see how it goes. That's pretty gross when you eat them all together because that guacamole one gets in there and that, that one's gross. I don't like that one at all. And the salsa one kind of overpowers everything. So that's, uh, let's see, so the, they all tasted pretty much like what they said they were going to taste like. Pretty much exactly. But I just didn't like the guacamole one. It was kind of gross. It kind of tasted like dirt. And the salsa one did taste like salsa, but it was overpowering and it had too much sweetness in it for me. The only one that was really gross was the guacamole one. But uh, when you eat them all together, they just don't mix very well. So what am I going to rate the Brock's Late Night Taco Truck Jelly Beans? Um, I'm going to go with Overall, I wouldn't recommend getting them. They're kind of a novelty. I mean, kids might like them, but they were they weren't they're not that good. I'm gonna rate them. 
I'm going to go with a four, which is pretty low for, for what I usually give. But they just, they it, it's weird because they all tasted like what they were supposed to taste like, which was good. They were as advertised. So on that, I'd give them probably a, you know, a nine on them tasting what they were supposed to taste like. It's hard to get jelly beans to taste like a certain thing because you got they have so much sugar in them that if the thing that you're trying to get it to taste like isn't sugary, then that's hard. Like I said, individually, they're not bad if you want to sit there and eat them one at a time, but when you eat them by the handful, they're gross. So a four on what they taste like and a nine on the individual ones, you know, tasting like what they're supposed to taste like, but it's just, I guess, a four when you mix them all together is what I'm getting at. So that's my rating, uh, 4 out of 10, and a 9 out of 10, I should say. The rating is out of 10. So that's my review. That's my ratings. That's what I'm sticking to, and that's pretty much all I have to say about it. So uh, make sure and stop by my channel. Check out my other videos. I have lots of uh, food reviews, lots of drink reviews. Uh, there's a pizza review playlist and a Taco Bell review playlist. So stop on by my channel. I'm sure you will find something that will entertain you. And I would like to thank you for watching this video. And everyone have a good night.